How you doing guys? Today we have a first impressions overview of the Powerfilm portable solar charger. This is a 10 watt foldable solar panel made by Powerfilm. Its actual model number is the F15-600. This comes packaged with a 12 volt female cigarette lighter adapter, which is very convenient con considering the fact that it does use a non-standard uh, connector. Now this panel is very lightweight. It is ultra portable. It folds up into a small package and we'll take a look at that in just a bit. Now the panel itself has done nothing but perform for me once I got it set up correctly. Now, as with all solar panels, you wanna make sure that you do have it connected to a charge, regulate, uh, charge controller and a uh, battery prior to your load. I really recommend doing it that way in order for you to get good quality consistent results. I tried uh, charging devices directly via cigarette lighter adapters to USB. I tried 27 different models and the results varied very greatly. Um, that said, once you have it, uh, you, once you have a battery in front of your load, you're going to get clear, consistent power throughout. And this thing will keep your batteries charged up. As you can see right now, it's hooked up to a 7 amp hour battery. And at the present time, again, this is not something that I recommend, but at the present time, I have the panel connected directly to the battery. Uh, part of that is twofold. Uh, first and foremost, at our last free uh, demonstration I had a bunch of equipment come up missing including the Jensen solar charge controller that I used to use with this particular setup which has caused me to cancel our free speaking engagements moving forward now the other thing that I will say the other factor uh, the other reason that is being hooked up like this is just a test scenario I want to see exactly how long it does take going direct from the panel itself to the battery not something that's recommended because overcharging is a distinct possibility. But uh, that's the type of testing that we need to do to find out exactly how things are going to go. As you can see, I currently have the panel mounted on the top of my rooftop awning. In trial and error and in experimentation, I found that this is the best positioning for me uh, to get the most power out of it. I've tried mounting it on a board, angling it toward the sun and tracking the sun throughout the course of the day takes up a lot of time it takes up a lot of uh, energy and and thought into keeping it in mind and honestly the the amount of power that I get out of it in this position as opposed to constantly tracking it and moving it around is negligible so this has been the best position that I found to set it up As you can see the panel itself is extremely thin it's not overly large it, it has 12 cells um, which do produce the 10 watts uh, the claimed power output of the panel itself is 15 point some odd wa uh, volts. I'd have to double check on the documentation for the exact number and 0.6 amps. Now in my testing I've consistently gotten uh, well over the 0.6 amps. I've gotten up to a full amp in power output from this without any problem. Uh, again, this has been a very As you can see the panel itself is very small. Uh, compact here's my hand for a frame of reference now it is held closed by velcro on the back and as you can see it is extremely quick to deploy I've added some um, straps to help tie it down because of its thin thinness and lightweight it, it, it will get blown away by the wind if you don't take care uh, to strap it down depending on how you have it deployed. It folds up very quickly. Nice, small, convenient package. You can disconnect uh, the adapter, making it even smaller. Uh, I, I typically tend to leave it on as I'm more concerned with quick deployment rather than gaining that extra little few centimeters of space uh, that taking it off would provide. Uh, the panel itself, as you could see right on there, hopefully you can make that out it, it is rated at 15.4 watts 0.6 amps final thoughts so would i recommend this to anybody absolutely if you're out in the woods if you're out if you're a hiker if you're a camper 
Um, if you just have need in a remote location for a small panel to keep a small battery uh, charged, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, I've charged cell phones, I've charged laptops, I've charged all kinds of other things off of the battery that this is charging. Currently, my nearest neighbor, who's about 10, 12 miles away from me, uh, has seven of these deployed with the seven amp hour battery, a couple of them running weather stations and a couple of them mon uh, running monitoring and other gadgets that he uses for his cattle. He couldn't have been happier. This has been currently deployed for him for the last 30 days without any hiccups. Well, strike that. We had one small issue where some crows uh, decided that they were going to live up on top of it. Uh, once we were actually able to get out there and cleaned off the, def the defecation of the birds off of the panel itself and repositioned it, um, haven't had any problems for it since. Hopefully you guys found this informative and helpful. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe below. Have yourselves a good day.